Hamilton, Niagara, Brantford, Toronto, China. Real estate in Hamilton, Niagara, Brantford, China. Topic of the day. Yossi Kaplan here. <coughs> YossiKaplan.com, Toronto Realtor and Mortgage Broker. Today we're going to talk about <coughs> how global events affect real estate and what it means to you and how you can profit from it or lose your pants because you can. Okay, so the story goes like this. Um, the world is connected, everyone's connected. Um, as people, you know, through the phone, email, Facebook, messengers, whatever, all these uh, devices and software. But the thing is that countries and the governments that control them are not. They still want to control everyone and the people and assert certain ideas on everyone. So what happens as a result is that immigration is coming in droves faster and faster to countries. For example, I grew up in Tel Aviv where um, a lot of people from France are coming to Tel Aviv and they have a lot of money so they're buying all the expensive uh, real estate or what was expensive but they just gotta buy it because they feel uncomfortable in France so they come to Tel Aviv, they buy everything and then the local people in Tel Aviv, myself, my family um, the real estate price go up, if you own that's great but if you need to buy you're in problem so the young generation doesn't have any money okay now let's look at Toronto, Toronto has immigration from China from India, from Pakistan and to uh, a lesser degree, maybe Russia, Iran, Middle East, whatever. So people come from these other countries and into another country. They come usually with US dollar. In Canada, they get 35% uh, on the dollar. They start buying real estate. And before you know it, real estate is too expensive for the locals. Okay? So how does that connect to Hamilton? Well, it's very simple. When Toronto prices are going up too high, all my friends, the artists, that have no money... Um, they don't work at the bank. My banker friends all live in Forest Hill. That's okay. Um, but the artist friends uh, can't afford anything because, you know, they just have their usual jobs, teachers, hard uh, blue-collar workers, whatever, just regular jobs, um, families. So they need to move to an area which is cheaper. So where is cheaper? It's uh, Hamilton, Niagara, Brantford, and then, you know, you got Paris, Ontario, Kitchener, Guelph, Waterloo, the suburbs, so on and so forth. There's obviously east of Toronto too. I covered that in the GM. I, I made a couple of videos about the GM, what's gonna happen there, the Oshawa is gonna collapse. So I don't really deal east of Toronto, let's focus west of. Okay, by the way, I'm in this beautiful alley on King West. This is a piece of art by my friend Nicholas. Nicholas Alfalfa. Fantastic artist. There's a little hidden restaurant here. I don't even know what it's called, but it's got like pizza and stuff. It's very nice. Okay, so back to real estate. Um, the reason Hamilton, Niagara, Brantford, and Kitchener, Guelph, Waterloo becoming more expensive is because the locals, and locals could be immigrants too, but they're already here. They're making money in Canadian dollars. They're taxed as Canadians because they are Canadian, like me. And now we got no money left, so we got to go buy other places. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you can't blame yourself or others for it. It's a global phenomena. You know, if Canada wanted to stop that, it will um, shut the borders. But then, of course, all the money that we addicted to, the immigrants' money, the foreign money, not going to come. And we're back to the early 90s. So, you know, you go this way, you get that. You go that way, you get that. There's no right and wrong here. I'm not judging anyone. I'm just telling you how it is. So, if I want to go to uh, Niagara... I can find some projects, there's a video I made and uh, we have a project in Niagara where you can get, it's Airbnb approved, stacked townhomes, you can buy one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, you can get Airbnb service in there, uh, part of the development, it's completely legal, it's legit, it's organized, so you can buy this either if you're Canadian, local, pay the 20% mortgage or more depending on your bank or if you're a foreigner, you pay a minimum of 35%. Um, Twenty percent uh, deposit and eighty mortgage for locals. That's minimum, of course. Uh, I'm a mortgage broker. I can tell you if you'll qualify or not. A foreigner, there's a minimum of thirty-five percent for the deposit and the mortgage. Again, it, it depends. I, I can tell you about that in another video or call me. But the idea is that because Toronto is too expensive, you're gonna have to buy something out of Toronto, which is cheaper. And if it's cheaper, uh, you might as well buy something that makes sense to you and it's a, it's profitable it's it's positive cash flow it's positive ROI 
So the Niagara project is very interesting. When I brought it up a few months ago, people just they couldn't connect to it. And quietly the project sold, phase one sold out, phase two sold out, and now phase three is gonna be launched in a couple months, and it's gonna be sold out too. If you want to get into phase three, I'll get you in the list, but I need, I need your information. So go to the Niagara page, I'll leave a comment down below, I'll leave some links, uh, register there, and then you'll be the first to know. Um, but there are other projects in Brantford, in Hamilton, in Kitchener, Guelph, Waterloo, and you can still find uh, good deals in Toronto at the $1,000 a foot, uh, some of them even in the $800 for in good areas, okay? There's no magic, there's everything has, has a reason. Um, but the most important thing for you to understand that because this global movement of people and goods and money and knowledge, um, the world is not what you used to. If you're still thinking like you used to think even five years ago, you're screwed. You know, you're not gonna survive, sorry. You just cannon fodder, you're done. So in order for you to survive, you need to upgrade your thinking, upgrade yourself, upgrade everything that you knew about. And when I say upgrade, it means you gotta start thinking like a global investor. You gotta start thinking like Yossi. You gotta start taking advice from smart people. <clears throat> you cannot follow the crowd anymore. You gotta be contrarian. You know, Warren Buffett made billions of dollars betting like crazy bets. Sometimes he loses, but overall he always wins, okay? Nobody wins 100%, but you just need to win more than you lose. That's enough. And increase that ratio. So, you want to buy uh, Niagara, Airbnb approved, stacked townhouses, great. You can buy Brantford, stacked townhouses or condos. I'm going to launch a project very soon. It's going to be great. It's not going to be Airbnb. Um, I talked to the developer. Maybe we'll do a short term uh, uh, leasing in there. I'm not sure yet what we're going to end up with. Um, regardless, you need to put your money somewhere it can grow for you. And if you cannot buy in Toronto anymore, but you still have that 100,000, you can, you can take that 100,000 and put it elsewhere. But if you don't, that 100,000 is going to be worth nothing because money, as I've explained in almost all my videos, uh, gets inflated, means it, it loses the value. The popsicle, the cup of coffee that I paid uh, $2 today, going to cost $3 tomorrow, going to cost $4 the day after. But you're not making 50% more when the coffee goes up by 50%. When the price of TTC goes up by a quarter, 25 cents over $3 at 8%. It doesn't seem a lot because it's only a quarter, but it's 8%. You didn't make 8% more. And to make that 8% more in your pocket, you need to make even more in order to get that after tax. <laughs> so you see there's a conundrum here that is very hard to escape. Quick break. And one more section, hold on. Okay, back in the alleyway. And a few more thoughts and explanation how you can benefit from all this global kerfuffle. So, the idea is this. Your money worth less every day. Whatever you spend on consumer items never get back to you. It doesn't mean you can't live your life. You gotta live your life, enjoy some good coffee. Enjoy beautiful life. So lucky to be here. King West, back alley. It's just gorgeous, look at this. All pink today, just for Friday. Pink over pink. But the idea is that you need to start making moves. If you haven't so far, you gotta do it. And a lot of people get stuck in their thinking and don't do anything, and they just become renters for life. And they make us rich. But those renters for life could have made a little investment when they had the money, most of them, and get out. Now, it, it doesn't mean you need to live in your investment. It doesn't mean it needs to be in Toronto. It could be anywhere. It's gotta be smart. Some areas are better than others. Those are the areas I focus on. I don't like to focus on negatives. I don't talk about negatives. I only talk about where I wanna be, where I wanna go. That's how you do it. But if you still have $50,000 or $100,000 or you can come with a friend, two friends, come up with 50 each or 100 each or whatever it is, family, you can still make a dent and you can still get a property and that property also will improve in value. Uh, here are some very old houses in Toronto. Look at these. These are, these are small houses, you know, blue collar houses, 100 years old. I bet you no rich person ever lived here, but they're still worth a million dollars today. But somebody probably paid, you know, $5,000 when they were built or $20,000. 
that's the entire house. It's just like a two bedroom house. And here's a wooden addition. But look, it's got a beautiful backyard. Somebody's very happy living here. I want to encroach on the privacy, but you can see from here, and there's a row of these. So King Street down here and uh, Adelaide up here. And these are houses right next to factories, all these old, uh, look at this big uh, uh, stack right here, okay. So clearly, or this little garage here, just an addition to a, another building. So clearly these, these uh, structures, you know, were not for rich people. But someone invested in them, waited long enough, and made the money. So that's real estate, my friends. You know, you don't need to change your life. You don't need to do anything crazy. But what you need to do is you need to take action. So I just want to speak to, to, to the I want to preach to the choir, you know. If, uh, if you're not in the thing of uh, investing in real estate, go away. Get out of this channel. Go watch Disney. But if you are and you're curious how to do it, well, that's how you do it. If Toronto is too expensive, you have options. Niagara, Hamilton, Brantford, Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph, Paris, Ontario. Um, anywhere, anywhere from here towards Golden Horseshoe, towards the U.S. border, to me, is good. Because that's where our friends in the south are. And they have massive, massive uh, import-export going on with them. You know, 80% of all Canadian goods go to the States. And they go on wheels, they go on trucks. Today they're driven by truck drivers. Tomorrow they'll be automated trucks or trains or whatever it is. But that's where it goes. That's where the people need to be. So if you live or own on that line, the QEW, the 403, 401 West, more. I don't like the east side so much. Um, I, th I, think, I think you'll do really well. So that's, that's where hedging our bets, and so far so good. And you know, things don't move overnight. Don't, especially not in Canada, things don't change overnight. So to me, I go where I think the highest chances are, but also the least amount of risk. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a risk taker. I never was, not my thing, maybe in another life. But right now, what I want is I want safe investment, safe bet. So you know, if it doesn't go as fast as our Toronto property goes, so be it. But if I only have 100 grand or 50 grand, I can still buy something, maybe just move slightly out of Toronto, or I find a friend, watch my video, how to buy real estate with a partner, and buy some in Toronto. And you'll see here and there, usually in the Toronto Star, uh, you'll see where they, they talk about uh, some friends, some neighbors, a couple of families bought a house together. That's what I'm talking about. So whichever way it is, if you can afford it today, buy it. If you can buy one, buy one. If you can buy five, buy five. Okay, I got cut out after about four and a half minutes, so I'm not sure where I stopped. I just kept talking, but I'll give you the gist of it again, and we'll close it that for today. If you have the 100 grand or 50 grand, and you can come up with the money with yourself or team up with friends, family, other investors, you know, imagine you're not the only person who wants to invest. There's many like you, and many like you are lost. Don't know where to go. Don't know who to talk to. Too much information. Too much selection. Not sure what to do heard all the horror stories blah 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 if if you intend of actually becoming rich you will if you intend on becoming an investor you will if you intend on getting the funds and get the property you will but in order for that to happen you need to take action so uh, give me a call I'll show you Hamilton Brantford Niagara Paris Ontario Brantford Ontario Kitchener Guelph Waterloo uh, maybe in Toronto if you can afford it still. But that's how you gotta do it, okay? That's how you gotta do it. And, you know, if, if you're not in the headset, I don't wanna talk to you. If you're not in the, in the mindset, I can't help you. I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to speak and work with the investors that wanna invest. That's my job. My job is to find the good properties, the best properties available for the people who wanna invest. So if you wanna invest, you talk to me. If you're not ready, can't help you. That's okay. That's how it's done. So to summarize, everything is becoming more expensive every day. Your money is worth less every day. You buy consumer items, you lose great coffee, but never, you're never going to get that money again. Um, if you buy the property, chances are it'll grow. You know, those little houses at the back, I don't know if they made it into the video they got caught off or not, but I'll show you again. Those little properties that were, you know, um, probably inhabited by the workers of these old 
factories. Th these were all factories, but now is uh, fancy restaurants. But these are all old factories. There is a 60s example right behind me. That could be early 1900s, even uh, late 1800s. Okay. I think Correnti Cigars was at the back. This was Correnti Cigars at some point. Uh, closed a while ago. Of course, that's a new Kingly behind me. I got some assignments here at Kingly. Uh, and they're still good. They're like, you know, 1,000 to 1,200 a foot. 1,200 a foot for the small units, 1,000 for the large units. If you can afford it, that's great. Uh, the Well by Tridel. Shopify is getting quarter million square feet, thousands of employees. I showed you um, how to make money off Shopify and Google. They're making crazy money. You know, they started 120,000. And they come from other uh, cities, sometimes from other countries. They need a place to rent. You buy the condo, you rent to them. You buy the house in uh, Niagara, you rent to them. You buy the Airbnb in Niagara, you, you let someone manage it. Just get a little bit of return. Don't worry so much about the numbers. Just put your stake in the ground. Claim your stake. That's how you do it. Everyone around me that you see walking by, I guarantee you, is a renter. There's another one. Okay, so... When I was uh, 23 years old, I worked at a restaurant, I was a renter too. And I literally had my tip money to cover my rent. That's how you do it. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But then you go to school, you get a job, you start to establish yourself. And you know, you gotta make, you gotta make the decision whether you wanna go hard, work hard and do it, or spend your money uh, in your life and your time partying. It's all good, no judging. Everyone do whatever, what they like. I like to invest, I like to look at the future, I always, I always like to focus on where I want to be tomorrow, the day after, the day after, the day after, that, that gives me pleasure, that's how I do it. So this was the past, but it's also the future, you see what I'm saying? Somebody that built the factory here never imagined there'll be like fancy restaurant in the back where they you know, roll cigars or made some carpets or the, the sock factory on Spadina, whatever it was. This was the industrial area of the early Toronto, right here, uh, west of Spadina. And now it's the fanciest area in town. So, pick well, pick, buy, invest. Call me, I'll tell you what the options are. If you're interested in Niagara, if you made it to the end of the video, if you're interested in Niagara, register. One more phase, last phase. The first two quietly sold out. Don't need to advertise, just don't need. Word of mouth, everything. Okay? Take action. Thank you. Good luck. That's it.